Packers, the girls under 16, 8, sponsored by Meridian Energy, of course, to go out of the blocks at 10 past 2. Margie's 43 and a half, that's the crew that has to be looked. What a brilliant sight as they go through the first 100 metres. I tell you what, down there, if you've got your cameras, get them out as the big eight packers power down through Rui Tanabar. Barrett in out on 42, or better still, book yourself up a trip in the Red Cat and get up on top of them and take a photo down instead of putting aiming it down the east end of Lake Brewer Tanapa. They've gone still in their racing start. We're getting the timings from them. We're all up and around at 40 still. The crew on the, the, in, the inside to us, which is lane number eight. That's the slower lane. We should get the hour effect starting to come out now. We just see Christchurch girls. Christchurch girls on 39 and a half. That's the first to open up the gap. This brilliantly coached Christchurch girls crew. They didn't feature in the uh, championships. Sacred Heart still on 41. They're just about a couple of hundred metres off the first 500. It's what we call Alcatraz Island. They're still here in lane number eight in Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart from Hamilton. They've got a very, very fine, about a foot advantage over Christchurch girls. The South Island champion, St. Margaret's, they're right there as well. They're only about a couple of feet down, and we're looking for Berardine, the North Island champions, out of lane five. They're about three quarters of a length down through the first 500. Huge surprise. But we just saw it, 39 for Dio. We just saw it with the grammar crew that you can come from a length down and still take the medal if that's what they got. 500 to go. Get the cameras out. Now they'll be starting to push a little bit harder. Christchurch girls on 38. It is right in the middle of the course, right in the fast lane. Christchurch Girls High School, under the guidance of that good coaching panel there, Mike Pethrick, head coach, and the rest of them. So we're looking for St. Margaret's, Hamilton Girls 38. We're looking for St. Margaret's. They'll be making a move very, very shortly, I would think. We can see in lane number three, St. Margaret's moving up. That's Boss, Boren, Quinn, Plinkenberg, Marshall, Davison, Goddard, Russell and, of course, Morton in the stroke seat under the guidance of Trudy Keys and the coaching panel out of the Avon River on Christchurch. Diocesan on 38 in lane number two. We're looking for Waikato Dio. Waikato Dio are right there too. The only crew really to drop off by maybe a length at this stage is lane number six, which is Epson Girls Grammar. They were third in the North Island Championships. Ranked. Rangi Ruru's on 36, so these girls are beautiful rating 36 to be able to push these big eight packers down through the course here on brilliant water conditions. But I tell you what, you had to look out for Christchurch girls. Uh, that's the crew, the Christchurch girls crew. They've now opened themselves up a half to maybe three quarters of a length now over Rangi Ruru's going to go with them. Rangi Ruru second in the North Island Championships, 37 for Christchurch girls. And then Margaret's. St. Margaret's now are through the 1,000 metre peg, ready to go. I'm going to try and call them through for you. You'll find Christchurch girls, St. Margaret's on their left hand shoulder. The coxswain hasn't looked out yet. She'll know they're there though, she'll see the front of their boat. Christchurch girls through now. St. Margie's now. Now Rangi. Now Dyson. Now the rule there, Sacred Heart. Too many to call. You'd almost think there's 10 crews in the race. The only crew to drop off is Epson Grills. Through the thousand, they're going off. So I tell you, Christchurch Grills, they have just poured it on through that thousand metre peg. Coxon still hasn't looked out. Margie's are within three quarters of a length of them. And now just starting to slip off as the Rangi Ruru crew. We've got three crews and we've got to look out for the two crews across the far side. Dyson School for Grills. And there's nothing between them and Waikato Dio. There's a slight advantage to Dyson by about three feet over Waikato Dio. Look at the conditions as they head down in this third 500. Margie's are on 36 and a half. Margie's slowly bridging the gap. They're up to a half a length now. Has Christchurch Girl puts the hammer down just on the 1,000 metre peg too soon? St. Margie's, it's hard to pick up a half a length from the eight packers. 
Then we still just starting to drift off the other side slightly now. Length off the leader is Rangi Ruru. Rangi's getting some pressure put on them from Dyson School for Girls. Baradine, the North Island champions. I tell you what, they are three quarters of a length off and about fifth or sixth place at this stage. We're going back to the leaders. Christchurch girls, Rangi are on 36. Christchurch, oh, Margies are getting slowly quicker to them. We we're going to get a clock on Margies for you. They look as if they're up a little bit higher than Christchurch girls. We're going down, they're a point up, they're on 37. Through 1,500 metre peg, 500 to go. We still haven't seen, oh, the coxswain for St. Mar St. Margaret's is really getting into it, true. And oh, so, so. Christchurch girls, coxswain looks out to the left. She should be looking out to her right. There's nothing between them. 30, 37 for Christchurch girls. They're locking together, these two crews. Out of the Avon River on Avon. Whoa, look at the coxswains. Give them coxswains a burst. We've got uh, Kennedy Latham and Christchurch girls. And we've got Lucy Morton. We've got a novice rower in there, Wallace Russell. And that crew there for St. Margaret's. And they're slowly getting closer. They have bow ball to bow ball and they've put clear water now between them and Rangi Ruru. Rangi Ruru's getting pressure put under them from Dyson School for Girls. Second in the North Island, they're coming home. Margies, Margies in front by two inches. Bow ball. St. Margaret's, get them behind them. St. Margaret's, get them behind Christchurch Girls. You can guarantee Mike Pethwick will have them sewing up that they will come home very hard. Christchurch Girls, 37. St. Margaret's one foot, two feet. St. Margaret's two feet, then we come back to Rangi, still hanging on. Dyerson trying to get closer to them. Waikato Dyer, half a length off Dyerson, and sticking their nose in between them is Baradine trying to come home. We're down inside the yellow boys now, St. Margaret's. It is St. Margaret's, and they're going to go away from them. They have worked too hard, Christchurch girls, but what a brilliant job they have done, Mike. They really have hung on to it. St. Margaret's, down to the line they go. They're now going out to about a half a length. Christchurch girls, it's all on for third. They're still hanging on for third. They've been third all the way. Randy Ruru, pressure put on them from Dyson. Waikato Dio, but Baradine sticking their nose up and behind Randy Ruru. They'll go fourth. Well, we think they will. Waikato Dio and then out the far side, Sacred Hearts never really featured and of course Epson Girls Grammar also never featuring. This is the medal presentation ceremony for the girls under 16 Cox State. This event is proudly sponsored by Meridian, who are huge sponsors of rowing. And we have Carol Reed from Meridian to present our medals. Thank you, Carol, and thank you. We really appreciate you being here. We begin with the winners of the bronze medal for the girls under 16 Cox State, Rangi Ruru. <laughs> We have Danielle Ackland, Olivia McLeod, Izzy Evans, Alex Summerfield, Rose Marshall Lee, Millie McFarlane, Alice Luxton, Holly Reed, and they're coxed by Maisie Natras. They're coached by Mark Cottam and Ali Burnside. The time for Rangiru was 713.18. So well done, girls. Bronze medal winners, Rangi Ruru.
winners of the silver medal for the under 16 Cox State. Christchurch Girls High. In this crew, Ella Bashup, Paige Waddington, Sophie Jackson, Georgia Sevier, Grace Shaw, Alice Commons, Meg Roberts, Charlotte Whitlow, their coxswain is Kennedy Latham, and they are proudly coached by Doug Bull. The time for Christchurch girls was 17.50. So a silver medal about to be given to Coxon Kennedy and one for Coach Doug. Congratulations, silver medal winners, Christchurch Girls High. Now the Aon New Zealand Secondary Schools Rowing Champs, Girls Under 16, Cox State Champions for 2014, St Margaret's. In this gold medal winning crew, we have Georgia Voice, Millie Boren, Shara Quinn, Saskia Klinkenberg, Lily Marshall, Star Davidson, Izzy Goddard, Wallace Russell, and their coach, or coxed by Lucy Morton, and coached by Kay Surgina. Time for St. Margaret, 7.09.09. One for Cox and Lucy, and one for Kay. And we will also hand over to them the McDonald Shield. Who's going to take that? Congratulations, St. Margaret's! <laughs> <laughs>